Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, today is Boxing Day and that means the day after Christmas. It falls on the 26th of December and it used to be on the 27th, but somewhere in history it got fixed on the 26th. Some people call it the day of St. Stephen. Religious people refer to it as St. Stephen's Day. In Ireland, it's called St. Stephen's Day. Uh, I think in other countries also, but in the UK, it's called Boxing Day. Why it's called Boxing Day is a matter of great discussion. Nobody really knows, but everyone thinks it has something to do with Christmas boxes, which employers would give to employees. But it's not really very clear but it certainly has nothing to do with the sport of boxing. Um, I'm just looking at a list of reasons uh, as to why it may be called Boxing Day, but nobody really knows. It's a public holiday, the day after Christmas. Actually, Christmas itself was not a public holiday up until fairly recently, and uh, most people these days probably think that it's the day when the toys of the children go back in the boxes, or some people might associate it with the sport of boxing. But Boxing Day it is. Uh, and oh, very nice, very nice, uh, lots of lovely things, another day to visit family if you have any, and uh, another day to watch some TV and do nothing. Uh, Christmas Day it will be transferred to a weekday. When Christmas falls over a weekend, uh, it's moved to the next weekday. So you can actually end up with quite a number of holidays with this. So because Christmas Day was on a Sunday, Boxing Day is on the Monday. So that means you get another holiday. So everyone here will be off Monday and Tuesday. Monday because it's Boxing Day and Tuesday because Christmas Day was at a weekend. Uh, what else can I tell you about Boxing Day? Well, there's not much else to say, but I do want to tell you about Christmas presents. So this year, uh, very happy to say that I received a Filofax for uh, my Christmas present. I'm trying to once again reclaim my life away from technology. <laughs> so I'm back to paper. So yeah, I got a lovely leather filofax with lots of calendars and dates in it and maps. And it just looks like 1987. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Lovely planner. Nice filofax. So I have that. I've already imported my credit card to it, which means I'll be carrying it with me. I love uh, uh, Filofaxes, although they have a little bit of a weakness, and that is if you lose the pen. <laughs> if you lose the pen, uh, it would be a bit like your battery breaking on your cell phone. You have nothing to update it with. So I'll need to make sure I carry a spare pen with me as well. Lovely thing, this Filofax of... <laughs> I've not seen one of them for years. It's just like a leather diary with replaceable pages and bits for your business cards and credit cards. A lovely thing, really. And I'm really hoping I can use it to get myself off of my telephone more often. Uh, another gift I received was um, a large reading glasses. Now, I have reading glasses. And for those of you who've seen me, you'll know that uh, I have varifocals. So half my glasses are for reading and half are for seeing. And these glasses fit over your other glasses and they magnify. And I really, really need that for playing my piano because I can't see anything. And they light up. <laughs> they have lights on the side. Honestly, when I wear them, I'm like Elton John. <laughs> Uh, he always wears strange looking glasses. They look like those protective glasses that you see workers wearing, you know. 
I don't think I'll ever wear them on an English lesson, uh, but uh, they they will be very good for me in the morning times. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we, we had a very quiet Christmas. No one visited, no one called. It, it was just a nice quiet time to relax and do nothing, do some nice cooking. Uh, yeah, so it was fine. It was a lovely day. Maybe a little bit too quiet for me, but bearing in mind it's freezing outside and uh, <clears throat> there isn't anything to go out for because all of our public services are closed. Um, <clears throat> well, that's the way we live, so it was nice. I also received uh, some uh, DVDs of uh, an old TV show that I love called Fame. In Spanish, it's called Fama, a beautiful program from the 1980s. So uh, uh, that's something for me to watch over the coming days. There's also a box set of the original Batman episode sitting here. Uh, Batman and Robin, it was a TV show from the 1960s, the original Batman. Um, so that'll be <laughs> nice to see. Uh, yeah, so lots of sweets sitting around as well. I have an urge to go and tidy up because there's paper and presents everywhere, but uh, it's Christmas. So it's one of the few days I allow myself the luxury of not running away to um, begin clearing up the house. Uh, the street is very, very quiet, not a sound um, I did see a few drunk people staggering past the window there, which is very sad. Um, the kids haven't surfaced yet, or maybe it's just too quiet for them. I don't know, but I don't see any outside. Not, of course, I don't have kids, but uh, I don't see children there. Um, <clears throat> a few neighbors who clearly are coming home from work. One car just passed, so... Yeah, everyone's just enjoying a lovely time. All the transport's are off, so there's no buses today. And uh, I think the trains are on strike, so there's no trains anyway. Um, so yeah, another very quiet day. So I'm just going now to play with my new glasses and uh, my new Philo fax. I need to move all my contacts into it. Good to know. And uh, that's it. So if you see me... And then I talk you lesson with a book with a leather cover. That's my new file of facts. <laughs> uh, happy days, happy days. Anything that gets me away from technology for a while, uh, I think that has to be a good thing. Right, so uh, lovely to talk with you all again. Hopefully life will be resuming so uh, shortly. Um, the next big celebration will be New Year's Day, which will be next weekend. And, uh, yeah, this is a great time to reflect on your achievements of the last year. So if, if you've been learning English for a while, it'd be nice to reward yourself for that and to look forward to the year that's coming. Um, of course, materially speaking, none of us know what's in store for us with the new year. Uh, but let's hope it's a peaceful one, yes. Okay, uh, have a wonderful Boxing Day if you're celebrating it. St. Stephen's Day if you are a little bit religious. And that's it. Okay, so see you all soon. Bye.